Hello and welcome back to GBA Let's Play, where we play the jewels and the junk of Nintendo's most advanced system. We are back with my continued exploration of various licensed properties from Cartoon Network in Samurai Jack, The Amulet of Time. As usual, we're going to explore the options first. Ah, more than just turn stuff on and off. We have SFX and music. That's not great. I think just one higher is good. What's the button layout? A is action. Hmm. Yeah, it's fine. Data options. Okay. There you go, that looks good. Let's start the game. Slot one is empty. New game, yes. Oh, there's also a guest slot, which is nice. In case you want to loan this to a, case, like a friend wants to play it. That's actually not a bad idea, and I don't know why more games don't do that. Hmm. I guess because you've kind of got to have a space for an extra slot, and some games just don't have that. Also, the music's kind of screwy. Why do we already... Are we starting... I guess we're starting in the future. I would like to thank you for your hospitality. My stay here has been most enjoyable, but I must continue my search to find a way home. Yeah, this is already in the future. Okay, so... Quick rundown on Samurai Jack. He was a samurai warrior whose um, homeland was uh, menaced by the evil Aku uh, back when he was... A little. He went around the world to train with literally every warrior uh, group on the planet. Even many who shouldn't really exist in the same time period, but don't worry about it. Then he ends up, you know, 50,000 years in the future, whatever, where Aku is now the ruler of a sci-fi world. So, you know, that's another cool thing. But he has a magic sword that does really cool things. They recently had a revival on Adult Swim, which you probably heard about. It's our pleasure. You are welcome here anytime. Before you go, I would like to show you one of our most treasured possessions. Okay. I guess I'm not controlling this anymore, but... Also, what the hell is that thing? Looks like a D12, and that guy looks... This amulet has been with our temple for over 400 generations now. When you first told us of your quest to return home, we were reminded of the amulet, but thought nothing of it, but coincidence. However, the more you have told us of your story, the more we, the more convinced we are, we, we have become that you are the rightful owner of this amulet. As you may be confused when our ancestors first found the amulet, it was wrapped in this. Maybe then you will understand. Yeah, that looks like Jack. It shows the same magic that Aku used to send me to this time. This amulet, it could send me home. What about those jewels? I see none in the amulet. The amulet has, used to have four jewels, but they have been lost for centuries. Raised were once common in this village, and the jewels were dispersed for safekeeping. They have been lost. We have no idea where they might be now. You may take the amulet. You may. All right. Good arts direction. Like, this looks very much like the show. Uh, before you start your quest, may I suggest you hone your skills in the training halls above us. I'm sure that you will benefit from our advice. Again, thank you. Please like through the left door. Good luck. <laughs> Begin your training by jumping up these platforms. When you reach the top, you can save your progress. Why is the screen shaking whenever he gets up there? Game has been saved, okay. Let's go to the options. Oh, wow, there's... Wow, there's... Stats. I'm okay with this. There.
There we go. That's what I like. I like A button as jump. That's just what it should be. Come on. Uh, the music's not great, and I'm not sure about the screen shaking literally every time I land, but... use without the screen shake whenever he lands, but whatever. You cannot jump you can jump further by taking a running start. Okay. I guess this is just failure pit. Yep, yeah, that's just failure pit. Okay. Squeeze through tight spaces by crawling or rolling. You can jump off any wall. Wall jumps! go. I like the fluid animation. Let's go with this uh, handy method of travel on a trip in Neo Tokyo. Why don't you give it a try? Oh, hello. These training dummies will help you affect your combat as you hit it. As you made, in the main direction to strike both dummies in a single chain. Wait, is this a Metroidvania game? Come on. There we go. Rose has the magical ability to freeze water. They can use these phones as platforms to pass through when you have mastered this ability. This is a Metroidvania game. I am 100% on board with this. And you can use a select to view the menu at any time. This is absolutely a Metroidvania game, and I am 100% here for this. Also, bead saved. It's not bean saved, it's bead saved. Okay. So this looks like it's another candidate for the jewels pile.
What has happened here? The spiders, they come down from the mountain and attack us. What kind of spider could do this? They're huge. They seem to see one the size of a house. I must stop this. Where are these spiders? Mountain to the west. Uh, okay. Okay. Please hurry. Okay. Oop, hello. I'm okay with this. Uh, it seems like I need some kind of upgrade before I can get through there. Okay, fair. wall jump out. Are you alright? They took my they took my husband, those horrid spiders! Why are you expecting any different answer, Jack? Yep, hi village hi gatekeeper. Save the game. That gives me 150 attack versus mech and 120... Oh, uh, plus 20 versus mech, plus 20 versus shadow. I'm okay with that. Jumping controls aren't all that great, but... Defense ring. All defense stats plus two, 100. That seems good. I hit that thing. I knew I could get up here. Take that! Now that I know there's no uh, 
XP or anything for this. It's, you know, healing is really only there to get from one place to another. Yeah, the jumping controls don't feel all that great, but it, it is still early GBA, so I'm willing to forgive it a little bit of that, especially because, like, Samurai Jack is such a cool property. lead us. Oh, hello. Small health and a large health. Recover 100 health. We only have 100 health so far. is huge. Oop, hello, elevator. Okay, up here. Oop, hello. Okay, can't make it through that. Called it. Here we go. Come on. Wow, really? Jack, hit the spider. I do like the lack of falling damage, because to be fair, in one episode, Jack did learn to jump very well. Finding all these health potions, I'm completely okay with that. Okay, just keep moving. That's for special gauge, which I still haven't figured out what I do with that. Okay, those guys can't jump, so... There we go.
There we go. All right, and we are out of time. So thank you very much for watching another episode of GBA Let's Play. I'll be back tomorrow with more... What was I playing yesterday? Dragon Ball. Dragon Ball Advance Adventures. So see you later.